What's up everybody? It's Brandon and you're watching Glassworks YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm working on a little, uh, making a hitch to put on my lawnmower. That way I can pull behind a little lawn trailer. That way spring's coming up or spring's here now. That way we can start getting some stuff cleaned up on our new place. Limbs that have fallen, things like that. Uh, got a little zero turn, but it has nowhere to hook up a little trailer. And the trailer I've got is one of them trailers like back in the day when you'd buy a riding lawnmower that would give you a little pull-behind trailer. Well, I got one of those. I'm going to fix it back up, clean it up, and we're going to use it. So I'm going to show you what I got started so far on what we're building. So right here, I just have a flat piece of weldable steel from uh, Lowe's. Like, I don't know what the dimensions are on it three inches by i think 48 36 inches something like that anyway i've got my pattern marked in right here right here and right there and i've already drilled a hole out for the pin to go in i just i need to clean the pin up but drops right in so basically what will happen is the trailer hitch is shaped like a c and it'll slide over this and the pin will drop in and lock it in place i got it about six and a quarter inches long that way I've got about a half inch or so. I can do two holes to try to bolt it to the trailer instead or to the uh, lawnmower. And then of course, I'm gonna have a brace go down and then I'm gonna have another piece on the bottom and I'm gonna weld the brace to this and the bottom piece where I can bolt it in in multiple spots. So far, this is what we got. All we did was used a uh, punch to punch my hole you know, scribed out my edges where I want them. <coughs> and I used a, st a small bit, medium-sized bit, and then a stepper bit to get the hole that I needed. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the grinder and I'm going to cut these edges off. And then I'm going to cut it right here. So when I get all this done, I'll show you. I mean, it's just uh, another little home project. So give me a few and I'll get back with you. All right, I got it cut. Yeah, it ain't perfectly rounded like I needed it to be. Or thought it thought I wanted it to be or whatever, but it is what it is. Now I got to cut this, and then, of course, I'll clean this edge up as well. But for the time being, that's pretty much it on this part. And then, of course, I'll cut another piece out of this stock for the bottom plate. And then I'll also cut a top piece. Been forever, so since I run a welder. So it's probably not going to look the best, but it is what it is when I get it all together. As long as it holds, it's all that matters. All right, we got the piece cut, got the edge grounded down, beveled down a little bit. Now all I got to do is try to get my measurements on where I need it on the lawnmower, and I'll show you how it's going to sit on there in just a second. All right, so here's the mower. Just cup cadet, zero turn. The goal is to have it sit just like this. But what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to make a plate that will sit underneath it, and bolt into these two bolt holes right here. Use the factory existing bolts. That way it's got some stability and see if there I can put a bolt here and make a bracket to bolt down here as well. So we're going to try to see what we can't do. I need to get a measurement, see how long this plate right here is. Actually, that would work out just great. A flat plate, get a measurement between here to here, extend it out. Extend it past these bolt holes, possibly use all four holes. Who knows, I can take this muffler off and use this to make a template to bolt it here, 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 and here, and then have this sit like that, welded on to that bracket. Cause I mean, it's not gonna be pulling a lot of weight. It just needs enough to be able to pull. So I'm gonna did all that. And when I get it set up, situated the way I want it, I'll get back with you guys. <coughs> <coughs> so what I did here, I went ahead and got my measurement on the back of the lawnmower. I want my bar to be 14 inches long. And I have the bolt holes here, here, right here, and here. I have to take the muffler off and make a template to mark it. But right here, I got seven inches centered. This piece right here is three inches. I got a mark on how far back it's gonna, I want it to sit over the edge. This lip is gonna sit over the frame of the lawnmower. So from here forward is what I'm gonna be working on. 
that line is where I'm going to uh, weld. I'm going to weld on this side of the line. I'm going to weld this to this. And that line is my center line. So that center line is going to match up just like that. So I'll find my 90 degree square and I'll square that up and I'll tack it in place. And then I'll cut it at 14. And then I'm also going to make a jig or a brace that sits just like this. This sits on to this just for a uh, extra added strength. So I'm gonna get all this set up and then I'll be back. I don't know. It looks like booty. It's the first time I run a weld in probably I don't know, 15 years. But it'll hold. Now I gotta do this side. Then I'm gonna make a gusset that goes from up to here first. So I gotta cut me a little gusset off and then I'll weld it in. Ain't gotta be pretty as long as it holds. I'll get more practice and get it better looking. All right, I got my gusset cut, got it welded in or tacked in place. Now I'm just gonna go weld it up all the way down, both sides and up. Just give it that extra strength and rigidity. So I'm still trying to play with this welder a little bit. It's my dad's, I got mine, I ain't even used it yet. So I'm just gotta adjust some settings a little bit, you know, get used to it again. But. Like I said, first time I've welded in probably 15 years or so. So, it's not going to be perfect. But if it holds, it holds. That's all that matters to me. Anyway, let me get this welded up and I'll be back. Alright, so like I said, that's the weld you've seen before. Not great. Some bird duty. That one right there looks a lot better. Like I said, I just got to get back used to it again. But that's it for all this. Now all I got to do is make a template to mark my holes. To bolt this to the frame. And I may put another lip on the bottom to where it's got a little extra support to keep it from flexing. It'll just be the same length of this. And it'll give me, you know, more chance to practice welding. Why not, right? <coughs> anyway, I'm going to get that template made. And I'm going to get back on this. Alright, so I'm not quite sure where I left off on this thing. It's been a few weeks since I've been able to work on it. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these bolts right here. All these. And I'm going to tape it off. I'm make a template with all these bolt holes in it to transfer to that uh, hitch that I made. So I'm going to go find the right size nuts or socket to take these bolts out. And then I'll make the template and I'll be right back. Alright, so I've got the template made. These are the top holes. These will be the bottom holes. And of course, all I gotta do now is take my punch, mark the spots, and drill them out. And then all I have to do is fill the tape back. And I've got a cut mark, or a scribe on the front side to where it needs to be cut. Of course, I'll clean it up, get it painted up, get the pin cleaned up, and then it'll be bolting this on and getting ready to do work on the trailer. So let me go ahead and get this drilled out, and then I'll be back with you. All right, so I got the template cut, got the holes put in, and I got it bolted up. Now the bolts for the bottom, I'm going to have to get some longer bolts put in for the time being. I've got just these two in the top, and it's more than sturdy enough to pull her in that little small trailer. So the next step is going to be cleaning this up, painting it, everything like that. But uh, that'll be for another day. Anyway... Get the next step done, all that stuff done. Get the trailer cleaned up, fixed up. I'll show you what I, what I was doing and why I was doing it. <laughs> 